What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Wig Revival Season. If you're not familiar, this is a new, I guess you could say series on my channel where I'm going to be reviving old wigs. Today I have a really cute one, the skunk stripe wig. I've had this for a while. It wouldn't fully commit to being an 18 inch length wig and it has really scraggly ends on it. So I figure why not revamp this wig? It is a real human hair wig and not a synthetic wig. I think we can really transform this wig. So after I brush the wig out really good, again, brushing is the main part. I feel like that's the hardest part is getting all of the tangles out of the wig. But once I do, I go ahead and give it a good wash. I use a good shampoo, but conditioner is the most important part, the name of the game in this scenario. I just want to put as much softness back into the wig as possible. So I'm just going to be using some Aussie conditioner. And I'm making sure to wash the hair really good because I know it has a lot of trapped oils in it and just products from whenever I last styled it. I'm also making sure to wash and scrub the lace because I have this bad habit of not washing wigs when I take them off so it'll still have the leftover gel or glue still on the wig and that's a pain to get off especially if I haven't worn the wig in a while so save yourself the time people. All right, so now we get to the fun part, which is styling the wig. As you guys know, I'm no, I'm not afraid to cut a wig. In fact, I prefer it. I love cutting a wig shorter. I feel like they get a second life after you cut them and style them. But I've been really into got to be. Um, I hardly ever use glue. I haven't used glue in years, but got to be does the trick for me. Now, to be clear, I don't keep wigs on for weeks at a time. It's a couple of days max, so I definitely will reapply the wig and am not wearing it for too long of a period. So that's why I use a lot of got to be gels or sprays or glues. You know we're impatient so we gotta use the blow dryer to quicken the process and get that glue to set a lot quicker. And luckily for us the style we're doing today is going to involve a bang of sorts so I'm really excited about that and that also saves us a lot of time because bangs means that I don't have to worry about the lace on half of the wig. The other half I gotta worry about that. I'm just going to be using some of the silk infusion on the wig and this is just going to give it that nice glossy glow to it. As you can see it's a pretty thin wig. When you have wigs like this that are really skimpy towards the ends of them it is always just my mantra to cut it, cut it shorter. And I definitely have had this wig for a minute now so I enjoyed it with its length. I always feel a little bit guilty about cutting a wig because I'm like dang girl you you bought this specifically for it to be a 16 inch or a 20 inch but like i said nine times out of ten you end up being basically gypped and the wig is not the length that you actually ordered or it is but it is by like a couple hairs it's ridiculous As you saw, I'm using my Shine Jam on this wig and I was a little nervous about this because the wig, I mean the bang part, it was just, it was giving crazy and I get nervous when I'm working with wigs. Even though like, I think I'm just used to working with my natural hair so much, working with a wig. Sometimes I'm like, can it do this? And then I'm like, okay, let's just try it. Let's just see what it does. But I basically just comb the bang part and then I'm using this stick and it is to flatten out the rest of the hair. It's a little wax stick I got from a beauty supply store. And then the old makeup on the part trick just to make things look a little bit more cohesive. And now it's time for my favorite part, which is the part where I cut the hair. As you can see, like I said, it was pretty thick towards the top of it. I just felt like it looked really scraggly at the ends. So I just went in and cut. My goal or my vision for this hairstyle was going to be not a bob necessarily, but kind of like a long version of a bob. I don't even know what to call it, but basically that flip 
ends and the swoop bang style. I think it's really cute and I thought it would be really cute especially with the skunk stripe. I love that it has this random blonde streak in it. I was really excited to kind of experiment and style it and as you can see I just kept cutting because honey I thought it was short enough and then I was like no it needs to be shorter for the style to really come through. You feel me? And then child, I was giving it that flip, that flip, that little bump on the ends. Um, the only thing about this hairstyle is that it's hard to get the bump to stay. So I really had to work to get the bump and make sure the rest of the hair didn't, um, like if you bump too soon, it's going to leave a crease in your hair and that's really annoying to get rid of. So I had to be really careful, but I think it turned out so cute. Guys, this wig revival stuff, I'm telling you, like you can save yourself so much coin by just going in and doing a new style out of a wig. I am so guilty of just taking a wig wearing it once you know when i say once i mean a couple times but wearing it one way one style and this just proves that we can revive and revamp like this looks like a completely new and different wig from the first one crazy but if you like this series be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let's be youtube friends forever and i'll see you in my next video bye